Hi, I'm Jay Cole Smith, Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science at Syracuse University. I would like to give you a virtual tour of some of our programs. I hope you enjoy this look at our community of innovators, entrepreneurs, researchers, and scientists. I think the great thing about SU, no matter what you're into, where you come from, what you're interested in, there's always a place where you can kind of fit in and find your niche. This school fosters a really unique camaraderie between all of the people that go here. It's about learning here. It's about helping each other be the best engineer that you can be. And that's the kind of environment you want to learn engineering in. It's nice to know that you have someone who has your back. And I feel like this entire school is like that. It really shows you how engineers uh, solve a problem. So like there's always the background information, the design, actually making it, testing it. We are one of the few universities in the country to have facilities uh, that we have. There are times where you're just you're running an experiment on the wind tunnel for my compressible flow lab. Actually getting to create and, and analyze shock waves and work with supersonic speed winds is, was, was such a cool experience and, and really so much fun. Well, first time I went down there, the first thing I noticed was 3D printers. I've never seen so many 3D printers just lined up. And then they told us we could use them. Experiencing the flight simulator for a class where you're actually collecting data and analyzing data that is actually integrated into your curriculum, that was actually amazing. It was, it was great. Full motion, it does all, like, everything you can imagine. We're doing a lot of drone research right now. And part of it's the experimental, the implementation, the, okay, how well does this fly? But then there's also the policy aspect of that. And seeing those two intermingle is very, it's unique. Syracuse is going to be the center for all these UAS technologies. It's a lot of engineering. Um, almost everything on the car is built by us, the students, uh, except for the actual engine block, which we heavily modify. It's great to learn all the things we learn in classes and everything, but like this is applying it and in the real world. We're going to be working with a lot of other departments, and it's a great experience to be able to combine all of this. The personalities of like our engineering students are pretty dynamic. Like people are a lot more than just engineering students. program here really allows you to get your hands dirty and learn about uh, the things that you're talking about in class, not just trying to visualize it in your head. And that's one of the things I loved about it. There's so many opportunities for labs. We had a couple of, of labs in here where we did concrete testing. Um, it's big enough so we can bring in different concrete trucks that can, that can pour. Um, so for testing like concrete beams. So as a freshman, you're not just taking your math and physics, you're, you're really getting into civil engineering at, at, at its heart. The competition's really fun. You get to work with your friends and build a bridge and then test it in the end. And you hope that it won't break, but it's always fun to see the ones that, that do kind of break when you put 200 pounds or so on it. They want you to enjoy your college experience, but they know the end goal is to get a job. So a lot of the focus in the engineering school specifically is job oriented. You know you're part of a huge community like when you're at the dome you, you feel that you see that but when you're in the classroom it's, it's smaller and you can get that one-on-one -on -one with classmates and with faculty. And you get to know your professor. Your professor pretty much knows you by name. Working in this lab I, as a freshman I got to like experience all of this and really early so it's like like a little taste of what I would be doing or hopefully will be doing in the future. I, I was not expecting to get like an internship or being able to work in the lab at such an early stage in my career. But it's you know, it's like SU provides so much like networking for us and so it really helped. We're in the center of a, a lot of different environmental projects. Soils and metals and trace metals, you have Chris Johnson. If you're into more green infrastructure, um, then you have Cliff Davidson, Charlie, biogeochemistry, lakes, rivers, Adirondacks. Um, so you kind of have that more natural side. Dr. Zhang, with, uh, if you're in the wastewater treatment, getting into some of the more systems of environmental engineering. What I loved about electrical engineering was kind of the challenges I faced uh, in all my classes. I wanted to be able to come to a school and produce things, to build things, to be an inventor. And I think that electrical engineering and computer engineering are really 
uh, uniquely qualified to enable you to do that, to, to take your ideas and, and create them. It's very like hardware, so it's like hands-on, so I see what's going on. And then it's also like relatable to like the life around us. It's an experience that's like no one thing. Especially with people who are friends and will try and help you throughout every step. Computer science is kind of the most STEM of all STEM majors or focuses because it really does comprise of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And you like take all these courses that may not seem related, but by the end you see, oh wow, this is like all one big science like coming together. Since being here, it's, it's always improving. There's always new spaces like learning spaces. There's always new technologies. Also, the curriculum is also always changing to adapt with what was hot in computer science. If you like math, if you like anything. Computer science stretches from the most technical math high level to the most um, artistic touchy-feely in that my dream particularly is to work with animation which is um, kind of on the more artistic side. Coming to SU um, you get a little bit of everything and it's so valuable for me to have got, gained so much computer science skills and the foundation, but also the really important communication skills, the presentation skills. You can definitely see it um, when a professor's research shows in their actual class because they're so passionate about the subject. Now that I'm taking courses with like a lot of these researchers, it's not only can they communicate, they can communicate their research so well because they're world leaders in it. I'm in some of these courses and like the textbooks are written by experts in the field and I'm like, oh yeah, like that's someone down the hall who wrote this textbook. I knew that I wanted a smaller class size. I also knew that I wanted to do research. I knew that Syracuse was a really great uh, research university. So all these students are sort of mingling and interacting and exchanging science and ideas. Not only do you get to really work with all of these uh, great instruments like the AFM, SEM, rheometry, uh, but you also, you also get to collaborate with people who are really sharp with what they're doing. So I think what we are doing is a more rigorous way of integrating research into education is critical to create to produce future leaders. The student may be rather you know, uh, new into research as undergraduate students, but I have amazing experience with some of them. Capstone is absolutely amazing in the sense that we get to work with real world clients. That's the most amazing thing about our senior design and working with real world clients is because we're working on real world projects. Bringing it all together into a project, it's really different. Uh, makes you think a lot more of not just solving a problem, but I'm doing something in helping a need. So after your four years here, depending on what your options are, uh, job offers and whatnot, you could choose to work anywhere. It's definitely full of a lot of opportunity. You have to learn who your professors are because they have research that's fun and it can really help you get that internship you want and it can help you to get the job you want. You can even have chemical engineering for uh, things that NASA does. I believe that engineering is, is all really team-based because like many people can do things on their own, but no one can do everything on their own. Just be able to give us the opportunities and understanding of the real world. I'm so glad that I was able to uh, go to SU, get to meet like the people that I got to meet and have all these connections because like you don't know where it's gonna take you. That's added to the fact of why I've been able to meet my best friends here and why it's been so easy for me to be so far away from home. Here is like, it's home for me. It's kind of like, okay, I can still always meet someone new, but I know I have um, a close group of people and a community as well. One of the biggest reasons I chose Syracuse over any other school is because I know that their job placement is really great, but also their resources and relationships with other companies, such as alumni and things like that, is really strong. It's really nice for connections further on in the future. I think Syracuse has a really big uh, alumni tie. It's a great time to be uh, an engineer and computer scientist. People who have those skills um, are going to be in high demand. I hope you enjoyed this look at our community of innovators, entrepreneurs, researchers, and scientists. Syracuse University is a special place, and I look forward to personally greeting you here on campus soon.
For more on our programs, people, and research, connect with us on social media. To learn how you can join us here at Syracuse, you can also connect with our admissions team. Thank you and go Orange!